Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to solve one of the most ancient problem which I get in my system. But before that, let me quickly mention that I have a donation page now which I created. So I have been running this channel for more than one year now, but I never had any donation way. And many people were asking how they can donate. So I made this. Actually, I had a Patreon, but nobody was donating me there because I never mentioned it on the channel. And many people, you know, pointed this out to me. So I'm like, okay, now I'm going to mention. All right, such a cute page. All right. So you can visit this page and donate if you want. So let's get started with the video. So I have this zip here, coolpix.zip. And actually I was doing this and then I got this idea. Maybe I should, you know, just record this. It's cool. So let me just unzip it. And I got this cool directory. And in this directory, I got a lot of images. If I run LF, you can see these images. But the issue is look at the file names. It's so bad. It's so disorganized. I want sequence number or something better than this all right so what i can do is i have to write some you know okay it's time for shell one line all right so let me just do it so first before you know doing any kind of magic i have to check do i have any gifs here so i don't really want gifs i just want images so let me just remove gif and what else like do i have any pngs so i got plenty of pngs what about webp so I got three WebP. So what I can do is I have to convert these PNG and WebP into JPG because I just want all my images to be in JPG. So I can run for F in all PNG do echo and then whatever the file done. So this is just going to list out all PNG because I'm running a loop. So it's kind of like your own LS. Now what I can do is instead of echo, I can convert this into Okay, let's keep the file name same and just remove the PNG from the last and add JPG. So this is some shell magic, which is just going to create a JPG version. So convert is a uh, tool by image magic. I made a video about it. So if I run this, it's just going to convert. So if I just copy this file name and just LS this and instead of PNG, if I put asterisk, so I got two files. Now one is JPG version, another is PNG. So basically I got duplicate files here so I can remove all the PNG now because they are not required. All right. So this is cool. Now I can do the same thing for webp and instead of webp i want jpg so let's press enter and now if i do ls webp so again like let's double check everything okay so remove webp asterisk so i got two versions so i can remove webp too all right so now i got everything is in jpg okay so this is great like we are making some progress so now what i can do is i can run this ls minus v so what minus v does let's just check this so minus v is for natural sorting all right so let's press enter and now it's naturally sorted and i can pipe this into cat minus n to get these numbers so this is the sequence number which we are getting in front of the file name so after that i can pipe this into while read n for number and f for file name and do echo let's just see what we are getting number in file name and done so this is the same thing. This is n dollar n and this is f for file name. Now what I can do is instead of echo, let's put mv and then I'm going to give a flag called minus n. So what minus n does it? It doesn't overwrite. So usually if you use mv like this, it can overwrite if we have like same file name and delete your files accidentally. So this is a really important flag which we have to put. Now here, let's give the file name and here let's get give the number but i don't want to give number like this let me just open another terminal and show you something so i can type printf printf and then okay i have a note here because i keep forgetting this line so i'm trying to look at those notes so if i type this and give any number like three so what is going to happen if i press enter it's going to pad three zero in front of three and if i type 30 so again it's going to pad like two zero in front of 30 and if i give any number all right like 34 or 54 so it's just going to give us a padding and this is really important so let's just do this so instead of n we are going to do same thing again printf and then dollar okay not dollar percent and then zero four four zero d and here we are going to give n for the number right like the sequence number which we are getting from here so now let me just last time okay let me just clear the so let me just last time show you the cool okay so this is our current condition and if i run this 
and do ls again so this oh fuck i i forgot to put gpg okay so i forgot to put gpg in the end which is really important all right so can i do this can i run this again will this work okay all right it won't work so all right it's not a big issue what i can do is so i got all these jpg files now i all i can do is okay let me just make it big again for f in everything do mv uh f and then again f okay f dot jpg all right done so press enter ls and boom we got jpg now if i press ls uh, lf whatever okay you can see that i'm getting all these cool pictures and the file oh look at how organized this is uh, this is so good so that's it that's the video please consider donating me by cow say toss a coin to your linux youtuber okay okay let's see i guess that i'm confused again am i here or am i there i don't know over there i'm everywhere i know that but here is connected to over there is that right but then where is the real me after all is said and done oh there is no real me